Greetings again, Dr. Graves here in the kitchen. Um, again, this is recipe number two for our second week of the body uh, reset 2016. And um, I didn't have time to do these in office, so I'm doing them now. Um, I wanted to go over a recipe and some variations to a theme that is, is a good thing when you're trying to avoid breads. And, you know, you're used to having burger with buns and, and sandwiches where breads are the thing that holds it all together. Well, this next recipe is basically you could make uh, a sandwich or essentially it's a wrap. We call it a burrito um, or even a taco depending on what you're filling. So the, the basic starting point is lettuce leaves. So I've got some romaine lettuce here. You could use iceberg lettuce as well. Um, I prefer the more nutrient rich, uh, darker leafy green uh, lettuces personally. So I'm just going to grab some of the bigger outer pieces. Obviously, they're going to be better because we're going to be wrapping this up, at least trying to. Um, so let's start with that. Um, next, basically, we're going to build like we're making a sandwich here, or in, in the case of a, a wrap. Today, I'm going to be doing pastrami and uh, Swiss cheese. So um, I also try to give you some health tips in terms of buying options. When you buy sliced meats and prepared meats, uh, make sure you look for nitrate free. So you want preservative free. Um, it, I shouldn't say preservative free. It's got preservatives, but just not the nitrates, which are not good for you. Um, they're associated with increased cancer risk. Mm, that's good. So, um, got that. We've got the Swiss cheese here. We're going to start by preparing the leaves. These have been washed and, and uh, dried. Um, I'm going to use mayonnaise. Um, again, good fats, hopefully a good fat mayonnaise. This one is not my perfect pick, but um, it's high in the monounsaturated fats, which was, is better, no added sugar. Some mayonnaise, is, mayonnaise they add sugar to. Um, you can also use cream cheese, and I think that actually would be my first choice. And um, so you could just simply take a spreadable cream cheese and, and put it onto the, uh, the leaves. Um, so I'm just going to put a little coating, thin layer of mayo here. Um, just as a note, too, avoid mayonnaise made from soybean oil um, if you can. Uh, sunflower and the high monounsaturated safflower oil, it's harder to find, but those would actually be ideal. This one is made with um, canola oil, um, not my favorite either. But So we've got that started. Um, I'd recommend then some mustard, um, also horseradish or um, different fancy mustards if you want. I'm going to do one with just the regular spicy brown here. And... Uh, and then probably one with this provincial paprika mustard. Um, probably kind of overdid that a little bit with the mustard, so you can adjust to your taste. I'm going to go ahead and use the Swiss on this one. And just to try to fit it all here, I'm going to break it a little bit there. Uh, then we've got the pastrami. Just probably one is sufficient in there. You could also use sliced turkey, nitrate free. The pastrami I like because it's just a little extra fat and I do eat turkey uh, fairly regularly. Now I'm also slicing some cucumber to put that in there, give it a little more volume. Uh, I, I really like these uh, Persian cucumbers, I think they're called. Um, they're just very thin skin. You do not need to peel them. So we'll go ahead and drop a few of those in there. Now thinking about this here, and I'll admit to you, uh, well, often these videos are the first time that I'm actually making something. I've seen recipes for them online and then just decide to give it a whirl. So I'm putting the leaf sort of to made up better. Um, it's actually on the back of the leaf here, and I'm putting it the front down just because it seems to cover and hold a little bit better. 
Um, the trick now is going to be rolling. What we want to do is roll it up. And hopefully it holds together. Now I'd recommend uh, some toothpicks to probably hold that together. And I'm going to probably end up just cutting this in half so it's a little more manageable. This is really um, intended to probably get wrapped up in saran wrap and then you can just open it and eat it as when you're ready. So there you go. Pretty straightforward. You could do this with ground beef and call it your lettuce tacos. Uh, you can put beans in there in moderation because of the carbohydrate content. But again, you could do all sorts of things to stuff in here. So I'm going to finish these up and set them aside and be back with another recipe in a few minutes.